Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. In this module, we will discuss about nanotechnology and its role in biosensor development. The learning objectives of this module would be, what is nanotechnology? What is the significance of nanotechnology? What is nanoscale detection? What is the role of nanotechnology in biosensors related to nanomaterials and nanofabrication? And finally, we will conclude this session. So, first of all, we will discuss about what is nanotechnology. As the name suggests, nanotechnology is the term associated with nano sized materials, their creation and employment in functional materials, devices and system. To provide a practical perspective, the dimensions we are talking about are in the range of 10 to 100 nanometers which comprise of the size of antibodies and viruses. Although nanotechnology seems to be a new phenomenon, it is not that much a new concept. It was started in 4th century <laughs> ADs and the application of nanomaterials has been witnessed in Roman artifacts and medieval times. The use of gold nanoparticles and some other nanoparticles have been witnessed in Roman artifacts and stained glass windows from medieval times. These nanoparticles used to give different colors depending upon the size. As already mentioned, nanotechnology involves manipulating size dependency to create new and novel products, it has found huge application in various sectors such as biotechnology, healthcare, food safety, water quality, chemicals, electronics, computer tools and equipment systems and diagnostic devices. The major significance of nanotechnology is that at nanoscale, the materials properties changes that offer advantageous properties to the product such as high chemical reactivity, electrical conductivity, fluorescence, etc. These properties can be tuned by varying the size of the particles. Although nanotechnology has a wide range of application, we would focus on nanoscale detections in this module. In general, the use of micro and nanoscale detection technologies is justified by certain concepts. Firstly, nanotechnology reduces the sensor element to the scale of the target species and hence provides a higher sensitivity. Secondly, the reduced reagent volumes and associated cost are reduced in nanotechnology. It also offers reduced time due to small volumes resulting in higher effective concentrations. Nanotechnology also provide portability and miniaturization of entire analytic assembly. The point of care diagnostics, multi-agent detection capabilities all have been offered by nanotechnology. Plus, nanotechnology also have a potential for use in in vitro as well as in vivo analysis. Now, we would discuss that why nanotechnology plays such a vital role in biosensors. In biosensing, nanotechnology provides rapid and simple analysis. It helps in achieving high sensitivity, specificity, robustness, reproducibility and long shelf life that are critical for clinical diagnosis. Nanotechnology also improves portability and increases utility at the point of care and point of use. And the most important thing, nanotechnology helps to introduce new signal transduction mechanisms in biosensing modalities. Now we will discuss how nanotechnology helps in biosensor development. We will discuss it in two aspects. One will be about nanomaterials and the other will be about nanofabrications. Nanomaterials are the materials which have one or two dimensions in nanoscales and have better chemical, mechanical, physical and magnetic properties. The example of most common nanomaterials are gold nanoparticles, 
carbon based nanomaterials, quantum dots, dendritic fibers, silicon fibers etc. We will discuss about the most commonly used nanoparticles in biosensor development. First of all gold nanoparticles. Gold nanoparticles are the most widely used nanoparticles in biosensor development because of certain advantages properties such as they are non-toxic, they have simple and rapid synthesis, they are very much biocompatible, they can be easily functionalized, they are thermally stable, they offer large surface area to volume ratio, they have high electrical conductivity and in case of empirometric biosensors they provide anti-fouling effect. Here is an example of application of gold nanoparticles for the detection of lead ions. In this case DNA zyme has been employed as the biocomponent agent. This DNA zyme has a property that it consists of an enzyme strand and a substrate strand. It also includes a cleavage side which is sensitive to the presence of lead ions. This DNA zyme has been labeled with gold nanoparticles and in the presence of lead the catalytic site is cleaved by lead which results in the separation of gold nanoparticles and resultant red color. But in the absence of lead no catalytic event takes place and the nanoparticles remains in the aggregated form and represents blue color. Next. We will discuss about carbon based nanomaterials. In this case the most commonly used nanomaterials are CNT these are carbon nanotubes and graphene. CNTs are hollow cylindrical tubes composed of one, two or several concentric graphite layers capped by fullerenic hemispheres which are referred to as single, double and multi-walled carbon nanotubes. Graphene is an atomically thin layer of sp2 hybridized carbon. Both of these nanomaterials provide advantageous properties to the biosensors such as high aspect ratio, high thermal conductivity, tunable optical properties, very high room temperature electron mobility remarkable electrocatalytic activity, very low production cost and they have very low impact on environment. Here is an example of application of carbon based nanomaterials in biosensor development. In this case an empirometric biosensor has been developed for the detection of DNA. The CNTs has been immobilized on the electron, the CNTs has been immobilized at the electrode surface to provide high electron flow which is mediated by methylene blue as the mediator. The presence of target DNA result in high electron mobility and high empirometric signal in this case. The next nanomaterial we are going to discuss are quantum dots. Quantum dots are very small semiconductor particles only several nanometers in size so small that their optical and electronic properties differ from those of large particles. These quantum dots emit light of specific wavelengths or frequencies if electricity or light is applied to them and these frequencies can be precisely tuned by changing the dots size, shape, material which give rise to many applications. These quantum dots are generally used in place of fluorescent dyes because they include better stability, stronger fluorescence intensity and different colors can be adjusted by controlling the size of the dot. Here is an example of quantum dot based cancer biosensor. In this case the quantum dot has been labeled with primary antibodies against the target cancer cell which is MCF7 cells in this case. In the presence of target cells a complex is formed between the quantum dots primary antibodies and the cancer cells. Then this complex is subjected 
to secondary antibodies coated magnetic nanoparticles. The whole complex formed can be easily separated using a magnet. A high number of cancer cells can easily be detected by increase in fluorescence as depicted in the figure. Higher the number of cells, more will be the fluorescence observed. Now, we will discuss nanofabrication in biosensors. First of all, we will discuss about micro cantilever based biosensors. As the figure depicts, micro cantilevers are minute devices fabricated for piezoelectric based detections. In this case, the cantilever provides the surface for biocomponent immobilization. And in the presence of specific target, the complex between the biocomponent and the target is formed. For example, the complex of antigen and antibodies. The formation of this kind of interaction results an increase in mass over the sensing platform which can be easily detected by the given equation. So, the change in the oscillation frequency is directly proportional to the analyte concentration. The second kind of nanofabrications are the integrated microfluidic biosensor. Microfluidic chip technology is the science of controlling fluids in multi micro channels for analytical purposes. This technology provides many merits such as small sample volumes, multiplexing, fast response time and automation. Here is an example of integrated microfluidic biosensor. In this case, a device has been fabricated which consists of two components. One is the separation chamber and other is the detection chip. In the separation chamber, a mixture of nanomaterials and biocomponents is incubated to form a complex. This system has been developed for detection of food borne pathogens such as Listeria. In this case, the inlet components are magnetic nanoparticle modified with anti-listeria monoclonal antibodies, gold nanoparticles modified with anti-listeria polyclonal antibodies and urease enzyme. In the incubation chamber, a complex between these three components is formed and separated by the use of magnet. The formed complex is then injected to the detection chip which detects the formation of ammonium ions and carbonate ions by the use of urease. The formation of these ions increases the ionic strength at the detection chip and was observed by change in impedance. Finally, we would like to discuss about the most recent advancement in biosensors that is the lab on a chip concept or nanosensors. Here is an example of the chip development for the simultaneous detection of glutamate, glutamine and glucose. In this case, microfluidics has been integrated with chip technology to develop a small size miniaturized device for simultaneous detection of the three compounds. Three different sensing platform has been fabricated in this device and the corresponding enzymes for example glutamate oxidase for glutamate detection, glutaminase for glutamine detection and glucose oxidase for glucose detection has been immobilized. The production of ammonium ions and H2O2 was monitored empirometrically by the sensing platforms. At the end, we would like to conclude the session with brief review. In this module, we discuss about nanotechnology and its critical role in biosensor development. We learned that nanotechnology has enabled miniaturization of sensing devices and higher analytical sensitivity through incorporation of nanomaterials. Also, the integration of nanotechnology has delivered various point of care devices for clinical diagnosis and environmental monitoring. Thank you.